Okay, so I'm under the car, and I got these marked. Um, a little, I'm a little upset because I got the kit, and he gave me two different bolt lengths. Like, I mean, they're the right size, but they're two different lengths. I think they'll probably be fine once I put it in. But um, to do this step, here I'll go over here so it's easier to see. So to do this step, um, I have the bolt partially through, like I pushed it back so when I, I, I'm going to start grinding these off to get the diff mount to fit. You just have to, you have to use a half inch drill bit, but you only have to drill out the, the threads, like the actual threads. So you only need to like go in like maybe like that much. Don't drill all the way through like that would, that would just be stupid and it'll mess up the alignment. So just drill only out the threads because the bolt is like slightly tapered and it's like um yeah it just it doesn't fit like this is a 12 millimeter and half of a half inch drill bit's pretty close but yeah just only drill out just basically um the threads in here but don't go through to the other side and i pretty much mock this up right here so yeah, I don't like jerry-rigging my stuff. Even right here, I don't know what happened here when I bought the cart with salvage. That's all beat up, but I had to take the bracket off. And uh, after I'm done with the car, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to weld and seal up all the holes because I don't want like fumes leaking into my car. I, I can't stand that, so all the holes are going to be welded shut. But yeah, to do the, the brace, you just basically mark it, and then you cut the tabs off here. Okay, the bracket's cut out. When I marked it, I marked it at an angle like this, but it's a lot easier once you mark it just to cut them straight down like this. And then you have to make sure right here it's recessed lower than this part right here. Same thing with here. Make sure this is lower. And then you can see fits like a glove without having to get the crap out of the car and just chop I seen people just chop these off I'm not really a fan of that okay so I got the diff in I just gotta put the axles in I just test fitted everything get a better angle here so this thing is it's on there it's solid Yeah, it's pretty straightforward to put in. Alright, axles are in. Diff is in. And you can see my, um, this diff is welded. And if I turn the, let me see. If I turn the rotors, you can see can see the other side is turning at the same time all right so I want to use the stock sway bar and you can see um, I found a way to I found a way to do it all you have to do is shorten the sway bar by maybe like half maybe an inch redrill it with the 7 16 but the, the drill bits I'm using aren't working. So, yeah, I can spin it easier right here. So, it spins the other side. Here's the fuel tank. Um, no matter what I do, it's just too big. It's not going to fit in the trunk here. I found what I really wanted was a 2000 to 2006. Um, Insight. That gas tank will fit perfect in here. I don't want to fuel fill. So I found at a wrecking yard for 38 bucks. I found a CRZ um, gas tank. I'm gonna go pick up tomorrow and see if it fits. And then I'll show you what I'm talking about. 
So here's the sway bar. Huh. All right, give me a second. Oh, okay. All right. So to get the sway bar to fit, I'm gonna have to drill it right, right there. But this is carbon still. I, I don't my drill, but those are titanium drill, but it's still not drilling fit. So. In order to get the sway bar to fit, you have to, I think, yeah, 760, I think it's, yeah, 764 is the hole. So, I'm going to have to cut this off and then drill this out with a 764, bring it up a little bit. And then the sway bar, I test fitted it, will work perfectly with the car. Alright, so, that's it for today.